Pope Francis joins representatives of the world's largest religions and other world leaders to pray for peace. It is part of an initiative started by St. John Paul II more than 30 years ago. Joining us now from the prayer ceremony is EWTN Newsroom correspondent Colin Flynn. Colin, so good to see you. So set the scene for us. What was this prayer for peace like? Good evening, Tracy. Well, today Rome has been called the international capital for peace as it paid host to the World Day of Prayer for Peace organized by the Santa Gidia community here in Rome. They're an organization of lay Catholics who are dedicated to prayer, peace and helping the poor. Now, the theme of today's meeting was no one is saved alone. Peace and fraternity. And this international meeting brought together representatives from some of the world's major religions, Islam, Judaism, Buddhism, and of course, Christianity. It all started at 4 p.m. today, Rome time, when the various religions got together in their different communities to pray. The Christians prayed in the Basilica, just next to me here with Pope Francis. The Jewish community prayed in a synagogue not too far away, and so on. Now, the reason they didn't pray all together, Tracy, is that they wanted to acknowledge, of course, there are differences between all these religions, but they could pray at the same time and pray for the one common cause, for the common good. After that, they all gathered here in the square behind me where Pope Francis spoke to them. They had a one minute of silence for the victims of the coronavirus pandemic. And then after that, the various leaders of the different religions spoke one by one. And earlier today, before we came on air, I spoke to Professor Leonardo Emberti Gia Loretti. He is one of the main organizers of the event today. And he told me, Tracy, why this event today is more important than ever before. I believe that this uh, pandemic has shown us that we are on the same boat. And when a boat is in a storm and you are together on the same boat, either you act together and drive the boat to a safe harbor or you sink together. A column earlier this month, Pope Francis released his third official papal document on the theme of fraternity. Did his message today reflect the same theme? Yes, Tracy, it really did. Two of the biggest messages of the day were to build peace and to build unity. And the way His Holiness drove this home was he kept repeating the phrase, save yourself. And he used examples from the gospel. He said, and I quote, the gospel of save yourself is not the gospel of salvation. The true gospel bids us to take up the cross of others. He continued to stress that we should have a better understanding and a deeper respect of people of different religions and that we should all work together, again, as brothers and sisters, like the encyclical you just mentioned, Fratelli Tutti, to be together for one another, to help each other through this global pandemic. He said, the closer we become to the Lord, the more we will be open and universal. Okay, well, thank you so much, Colin. Colin Flynn, EWTN Newsroom correspondent. Thank you so much.